Hey everyone, I'm uh, giving you another video, um, this time about how to really be a man in a relationship. Um, I've been talking with uh, my girlfriend, of course, a lot, and about what women really need and what women really want in a relationship, and how to really be a guy in a relationship. Um, <sighs> start off, guys need to, to really be man and, and grow up when it comes to being in a relationship. Part of being a man is to be willing to fight for it. Uh, to be willing to sacrifice, to be willing to do what they need to in order to get the relationship to work through. Now, of course, it's it's not one-sided. Women have their parts that they need to play as well. Um, and I may have Casey do a video on that one so she can give it from her perspective. But in terms of a guy in a relationship, it really comes down to really putting all you got towards it and fighting for it. Now, some things that women want, and you know, women are always kind of a mystery to guys, and good reason. <laughs> um, but there are a couple things that, that women tend to want. Now, not every woman's the same, but a lot of them do need these basic things. It's just kind of how they're imprinted. One of them is they need to know that they're loved. It's a really big thing. Guys always get it all kind of, you know, huffed or whatnot. You know, I, I, she should know that I love her. But women need to be told that, they, that they're loved. And almost on a daily basis, and in a meaningful way, and not you know, and at the right timing as well, not when a time like, you know, she did something for you, and you say, oh, that you love her, because you know, women kind of pick up on subliminal things, even when they're not really there. So you gotta kind of think about how they're thinking about it. Um, so just out of the blue, randomly, and sometimes in even just easy, quick, unique ways, like writing a note, you know, tell her that you love her that you're thinking about her, that will just make her day. One little thing like that each day will keep her very happy. Another thing women want is they want to know that they're beautiful. Uh, women are just by nature very self-aware of you know how attracted they are to their, their spouse or their person that they're with. Um, and not just like you look, and sorry about the, the word here, but you look sexy or whatnot. Girls want to know that they're beautiful as well as pretty. And, you know, occasionally they want to know that you find them desirable in other ways as well. But they really want to emphasize that you're enamored with them, that, you know, just looking at them makes them smile. Things like that, they would love to know that. And that will keep them really, you know, in that that happy type of state, just knowing that they're beautiful and they don't have to worry about it. Like when they go and buy a new dress or they go change their hair, they're really doing it to, to get a reaction out of you in terms of they want to hear that they're beautiful. Um, another thing is that a lot of women want to know that they're protected. Uh, part of being a man is to <laughs> be a man, to protect not only physically but also emotionally your wife. So when things are coming up that might hurt her in some way, shape, or form, um, it's your job as a guy to step in and to protect her and to help her um, and to be on her side. Now, of course, for physically, um, you know, Jesus himself said that there is no greater thing that you can, or no greater act of love that you can do than lay down your life for that for a friend or for, for someone. Um, so as a guy, you got to be willing and let her know that, you know, should something happen, you're putting your life on the line and you are willing to do that to protect her. Because girls want to know that they have their, I mean, as cliche as it might be, you know, their knight in shining armor type of thing, where they know that you're willing to put everything that you have, including your life, into keeping her protected and keeping her happy. Um, in a relationship, it really is important, though, for guys to be interactive. Um, now, again, it isn't a one-sided process. And when one side isn't doing, you know, what they need to do, because women have their own things that they need to do to help keep uh, their guy energized, to keep him, um, you know, enthused about the relationship and passionate about the relationship. Um, and again, I'll probably ask Casey to do video, but some things like, for instance, you know, guys need empty box time. If you ever watch my Gunger's relationship video on how guys have boxes and there's this one box called an empty box and there's nothing in it and we love that box. Things just like playing a video game, watching TV every once in a while, you know, to de-stress. Um, it's important and it's important to have a woman that respects that and because, you know, if you don't get any de-stress time as a guy... You're going to be cranky and you're going to go into a relationship cranky. So it's in her best interest as well to get some of that time. However, don't let that empty box time consume you and put that as your only focus. Because then you'll make it seem that that's more important to, to her. And in terms of relationship, she needs to know that you're top, or that she is type priority to you. Of course, the only one above her should be God. 
and you know in your life that's the only person but otherwise she is to be your top priority um and she needs to have you as your top priority um <sighs> sorry long day of work um but some other things um even just that uh for her me her needs girls if you ever watched again i, I love mike mark gunger's video on uh, guy brain and girl brain you can youtube him he's all over he's the guy for our laugh or laugh your way to a better marriage um he talks about how women you know they de-stress by talking about it and it's really important as guys to listen you know uh, because that is their de-stress. And if you don't listen, then it gets bottled up and they start like, you know, snapping. And that's when you start seeing fangs and, and sharp claws come out at you uh, for little stuff. Um, it really is important to realize the, the need to meet both people's needs to de-stress. So for her, you know, like for instance with me and Casey, uh, I'll use her as an example. After I've had a long day of work, I'm like, honey... I need to I need to have a little empty box time. I need to just relax for a little bit. And she understands that and knows that I need to sort of say, okay. And I'm like, afterwards, though, I want to hear everything about your day. And I uh, just want to spend some time with you. So I, I de-stress and that I can handle what she's talking to me and give her my full attention afterwards. Or even do a reverse. And sometimes I'll ask her, hey, you, you seem like you've had a stressful day. Tell me about it. And then later I'll go, you know, de-stress myself or whatnot. It really means a lot to, to be able to get that balance um, to meet both needs. Um, and, and through that, though, because if you're both de-stressed, then you're both ready to go with the relationship and can handle problems. Now, another thing about being a man in a relationship really comes, like I said, to put your, forth, your full effort. As a guy, it is your responsibility to lead. That is your job as a man. You're supposed to lead in a godly fashion. If there's something going wrong in the relationship, whether it be your problem or her problem, um, you need to lead in a way that's saying, okay, we're both going to address these issues together. And that really builds that because if you don't, if you just kind of clam up and, you know, go off, you don't address the issues, nothing ever is going to, you know, happen. I mean, you're both going to start pulling apart. Um, things like if you don't meet her needs, then she starts getting resentful, and she, or she's not meeting your needs, and you start getting resentful. Then you get into a downward spot where neither of you is meeting each other's needs, neither of you is excited about the relationship, and then it just falls apart. So when you see that start to happen, the downward spiral, you need to, as a man, say, hey, this is not heading in the right direction. We need to stop. We need to turn around, and we need to fix this, and be honest and talk about it. Um, and I see a lot of guys that don't do that, that they'll escape, that they'll shut up, that they'll clam up, that they won't even put anything into the relationship. And it's a really sad thing. So this is kind of just a little helpful video for guys out there in relationships. My suggestion is, one, follow the steps. Make sure that she knows. Two, read up on books. I know people are like, oh, I don't need a book to, to tell me you know, how to, to do things. But there's a lot of really good material out there to, to help you learn different things to, to love your wife or love your per partner, love your wife, your husband, and do something together. I usually, I, we, we, me and Casey do something every night, but at least every so often do like a devotional together. You know, spend some time reading a relationship book. Do something that set, shows her that you're trying to put time into the relationship and you want to fix things and to grow better. I mean, even like, a lot of websites recommend even once a year go through a relationship book together just to keep things going. So just a really call out for guys to really start to, to man up and to, to be what God wanted you to be as a man in a relationship. A firm leader, one that's willing to live or give their life, um, one that seeks to meet the needs of the partner. Um, and like I said, we'll, I'll see if Casey can do a video for the female section because she seems to get it down pretty well. And I feel a lot of God's love through her and she feels a lot of God's love through me. And that's really what you're looking for. So this is just a little video, uh, to help some of the guys out there. Um, tell me what you guys think. Um, take care. God bless.